Hey there everyone, it's SirTapTap, and we're going to do a quick screener screencast here, because I don't have my normal computer with me, and this screener makes recording so freaking easy, I love it to death, but we are going to be playing Realm of the Mad God, and actually I'm really just going to show you the uh, tutorial, because it's really nice. So this is one of those MMO thingies, those big games with the lots of people. It's not loading. There we go. The tutorial is all I really want to show you, though. It It's very nice in that it slowly guides you through, and I love the copy here. It's very engaging and amusing. It's very simple, and it's... And I love the little, the little arrows drawing to whatever is supposed to be drawing your attention. This is the mini-map. The red bar shows our health. What is our health for? Oh, geez, maybe it's for these things that shoot and hurt us. Pain. We made it! I just love the copy that guides you through and and the a lovely thing is that the game sh it throws one feature at, at a time at you instead of most MMO games pretty much just barf you out in the starting town where there's like 800 billion other people and you just have a generic tutorial quest and you have to figure out pretty much a lot of advanced features in a very little time. This game cuts down on the advanced features and it shows you everything it one at a time and no other players around this is a single player little area even though it's a multiplayer game just to let you get the hang of everything without you know the typical spam that's in every starting town ever this is our equipment and note how it doesn't bother you with equipment until you know how to move and fight and all that stuff stand on the loot bag this is how you get more stuff and I love, I love the arrows and everything drawing your attention and showing the clear, um, you know, cl it's very clear you should click and drag this over here, even if you didn't read the copy here telling you exactly what to do. It's just very nice. Spacebar activates our special power! Shoots frickin' circle laser thingies. Press enter to chat! Enter to chat! Yay! But there's nobody to chat to, but oh well. And that level up sound is really loud. As a side note, the game's not usually this laggy. It's because of this, partly because of this computer and because of my recording software. And we are having some connectivity issues. Oh well. We've been captured by Onyx. He wants to use us as food for his vile minions. You must find a way to escape. This is the second little tutorial level, and it's more of an almost real level, but uh, I like it in that it lets you get more of an impression of what a real level was would be like, but it's still just a tutorial area. It's pretty hard to die, but there's no other people around, and you know it's got a tiny little story, and it's not anything you can get lost in or get frustrated with. It's a very nice, easy little level to start you off with. And yet, there's, you know, there's some stuff here that can try and kill you, so... It's not completely boring. Oh crap, it's that boss guy. Let's murder his face. Why is your face not murder? He's running. Let's kill him. That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah! Well, I don't really need that stuff. And you can see the chat log here. That's basically how other people's words show up, too. You have escaped Onyx's kitchens. Your progress is saved automatically. This portal leaves to Onyx's realm. Start on the beach. Forests are dangerous for being experienced. And now it plops you out in an area that actually has other people. Whoa! Suddenly a frickin' gigantic rad scorpion. Okay, that's dead. So there are actually other people around here, but it's not a town, so there's not like a billion people around. So, whoa. There's stuff that can actually kill you here, but it tells you to stick around on the beach, which is where the easy stuff is, apparently. But, uh, this is Realm of the Mad God, and I haven't played any more than the tutorial, but I just noticed the tutorial is awesome, so I wanted to show that off. That's how you do the tutorial. And another nice thing is, that only shows up your first time playing. Every other time, you just start up right into the game, so even if you make multiple characters, it doesn't repeat itself. You just get a jump right in. But 
it's a really great way to create a first time experience.